Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's time we're just going to have to face the hard, cold truth. Now, any relationship is based on nuances and kind of reading subtle clues. And if you've been reading between the lines from Canon, you're going to realize their latest firmware update for the Canon R5. It's pretty obvious that Canon has decided to keep one of its flagship cameras, the Canon R5, permanently locked in a box and crippled. And what I'm talking about here is the artificial, completely and totally software-based 30-minute record limit that is on the Canon R5. Now, before I jump too deep into this hole, I do want to say one positive note before I go into this about Canon, and that is the fact that if you look at what Canon has done with the Canon R5 on past firmware updates, I mean, Canon has really released some incredible updates for this camera, and these firmware updates haven't only improved the camera, they've, in my opinion, actually completely transformed and elevated the R5. So we do have to give kudos to Canon for that before we go any deeper on that. And all of that really brings me back here to this issue of the 30 minute record limit, which <laughs> is just completely baffling for me. Now, how we got here was this. Canon recently surprised me this week with the release of firmware 2.0 for the Canon R5. Now, if you know anything about firmware updates and how they are typically labeled, anytime you jump up in a number from like a one to two, this usually means a major, major firmware update is coming for the camera. For instance, the Canon R5 has been out for several years and has had several major firmware updates, but none of them were deemed worthy enough to jump up to the 2.0 label. I'm talking about major codecs. I'm talking about major heating issues. All these things were major upgrades to the Canon R5 and they didn't get a 2.0 label. That's how you get things like the 1.4.3 updates. So seeing this 2.0 firmware day come up did lead me to the false hope that Canon was finally removing the outdated and pointless 30 minute record limit on the Canon R5. Alas, it is not meant to be. Now, for those of you who are unaware of why your cameras have 30 minute record limits in the first place, it actually has nothing to do with technology and everything to do with tax laws. <laughs> you see, it used to be that if a camera could record longer for say 29 minutes and 59 seconds, it was put in a different tax category. And in order to avoid this, camera companies put this artificial software limit on the recording times to skirt the issue. Now this tax law was in effect before the Canon R5 was released, but thankfully very, very shortly after the Canon R5 was released, this arcane tax qualification was finally repealed. And this led to most of us, myself included, to anxiously await the inevitable firmware update to remove this artificial software limitation on the camera. And as we were waiting, Canon would release lower end camera after lower end camera that did not have these limitations. For instance, even the Canon R50, which costs about a quarter of the price of the R5, allows you to record for longer than 30 minutes. So it seemed like there was an inevitability that we would remove this 30 minute recording limit on the Canon R5. But unfortunately now with this latest firmware update with 2.0 on the Canon R5, I think it's, <laughs> It's really become crystal clear that Canon is never ever going to actually fix this specific issue on the Canon R5. I think it's kind of like we're hopelessly dating someone and they're just never giving us that sign to go forward. I feel that's where we are now with Canon and the R5 when it comes to record limitations. Now, why not? I mean, why are we not getting this? I don't actually know. My best guess is this is purely a marketing decision to keep the R5C and the upcoming R5 Mark II as kind of separate entities to kind of stand out from the R5. This is really a shame because, you know, even though the R5 is a couple of years old, it's, <laughs> it's still an amazing camera. And I really find myself using it in interview situations a lot. It's a great B camera to have in these interview situations. And that's one of the main areas where these artificial time limits really cause the most frustration. Now, if you're considering getting an R5, don't let this be a deal breaker. It is annoying, but it is certainly something you can work around. But it is a frustrating reminder of how marketing sometimes overpowers common sense. So if you're someone out there that's been waiting for that magical firmware update to completely unlock your Canon R5 and remove this arcane software-based 30 minute record limit, I just have to say, you're gonna be waiting a little while longer or well, let's be honest, don't hold your breath. I don't really think it's ever coming. Anyway, guys, love to hear what you have to say about this. Leave me notes and comments down below. And yeah, I'd rather keep on shooting. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.